Okay, welcome back. So let's do the damage modes. So let's find on the animal the damage animation. So I'm going to go to packs, force pack, raccoon animations. And here I have get hit left and get hit right. I know where what the animations are, so I'm going to simply set it. So I have these ones right here and these ones right here. Let's see. So back left, back right, left, right, from left, from right. Perfect. Now I'm going to create a substate machine, call it damage. Let me add this right here. And I'm going to set it in the right position. Okay, so. We got hit left, hit right, hit back left, hit back right, and hit from left and hit from right. Perfect. Now, let's go to select the raccoon, go to tools, mouse animations, animator tools. I'm going to go to modes, I'm going to add damage mode, and I'm going to select all the animations. Now I'm going to order because I need to do something later, but if you don't need to, if you only have a few animations, you don't need to do this. So the front animation will be the first one, left from left will be one, from right will be two, left will be three, right will be four, back left will be five, um, back right will be six. So, okay, none of the animation have the same number, so perfect. I'm going to add all the transitions and modes, and now you will see that we have the mode behavior. We have all the transitions. Let me set these two on the front and these two on the back. And we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Perfect. Now, if we go to the raccoon, we will see the damage, the damage mode with the abilities. Let me order here again. Perfect. And now, these animations, I want to play them when the animals get hit. So I don't want to play them with a with an input. So what can we do? We are going to add the damageable component. And this will add the stats manager with the health stat. So remember the raccoon, when he attacks, he will subtract health values from the health stat. Now, the damageable is the link between the animal controller, the stats, and the attack triggers. He will give values to the stats and to the animal. When he gets damage from an attack trigger, he will react, he going to activate the damage mode with a random ability. So perfect. Now, how can we test this? I'm going to simply create an empty game object. I'm going to add the attack trigger. And instead of the box, I'm going to do a sphere. And I'm going to set it right here. And this will be enabled by default. Everything will be enabled, this will be a trigger. Let me set it near the raccoon. And now, if we hit play, everything is enabled, yes. And I get near the raccoon, he will play a random hit animation. And also, if you take a look at the raccoon, he will remove health every time he get hits and if the health gets to zero i'm going to activate the death state perfect let's do the, a quick test instead of 10 i'm going to do 50 and if i move one hit two hits the animal died perfect everything is working fine now let's do back 10 here and that is how you do damage animations for the animal but since i 
have for the raccoon directional animations for the damage let me show you right here when I hit the raccoon you will see a debug arrows that will show you where the damage is coming from and since I can take advantage of that I'm going to use on the mode something called modifiers these modifiers will give you some snippets of code that you can apply to the animal before applying the animations for the modes. In this case, I'm going to change what ID of ability I'm going to play depending on the direction of the damage. So here I have created a modifier called directional damage. In this case, it will be the six size. And now you will see here that we have a front, right, right and back right from left left and back left that we need to set up if the animal get damaged from the front right angle I'm going to play the ability once but here from the right is 2 so let me change the value from right is 2 right will be 4 let me see again back right will be six six and from left will be one left will be three and back left will be five if I th see this correctly from left one left three and back left five perfect and now if I try to hit the animal again you'll see he's getting damaged from the left side but it's inverted so let me invert the values again you need to find the correct values on the damage so it will be 1 3 5 yeah, and here will be 2 4 and 6 let me see this again if I hit it from here he will react accordingly if I hit it from the back If I hit it from the front, so these two are inverted. So let me do this one more time. Back right will be front right, and this will be inverted. Back left will be two, and this will be inverted. So once again, if I hit it from the right back, he will turn. If I hit it from the front, he will react accordingly. And that's it. That's how you can use modifiers with the modes.